Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Reba Ramona Stewart. She went missing from Federal Way, Washington, August 15th, 1982. She was 46 years old and it gives some of her nicknames. She was 5'3 and 130 pounds, American Indian, Alaska Native. Let's see. She was reported missing by her sister in 1988 after she had not been in contact since 1982. So I don't know if the exact date would be correct or even the month. Her husband felt that she had left him and moved to Canada. So, yeah, black hair, brown eyes. Scar on upper back, scar on ankle. So nobody knows what happened to her. And then we're going to get some Jane Doe's. And here's one Jane Doe. And this can't be her because, of course, it says she's white. But I don't know. Maybe it could. We never know. Because sometimes they test it and then later it's different. So this one was found all the way in Maryland. So I really don't think this is her. But I did a name search trying to find somebody that would fit her. This is five foot four, and the estimated year of death is 1972 to 82. But it says three years PMI, ages 17 to 45. So she probably died around 1979. And seeing as she went missing in 1982, it's probably not her. The subject was found in a trunk in a wooded area at a state park. The body may have been at that location for three or more years. Brown hair. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, and then we have this one, a 1984, New Hall, California, age 30 to 50. Um, let's see what it says. Found March 6, 1984, ages 30 to 50 years old, estimated date of death, 1983 to 1984, 5'1 to 5'4. Um, skeletal remains found on the grounds of Golden Oaks Ranch, a private ranch in Newhall. So, and I don't know what happened to her hair. Okay. And then we have this person, Clark County, Nevada, 20 to 99 years old. The body wasn't found until March 31st, 1986. This one, they're not sure of the race. Five foot three is the height, though, and they believe they died from 1981 to 1986. Three years PMI would be 83 to 86. But it still says 1981 to 86, so... Uh, skeletal remains were discovered in the desert area north of Powerline Road and east of US 95 on Nelson Road. Road. The remains consist of two femurs, a tibia and a fibula, humerus, and part of the pelvis and vertebra. Wow. So that one's a possibility, I think. And then we have one in Las Vegas, Nevada, ages 25 to 50 years old, found March 29th, I mean May 29th, 1989. This one says white Caucasian, so 5 foot 2 estimated, 25 to 50, 0 to 1989, year of death, estimated PMI doesn't give us anything. Rock hunters discovered the skeletal remains in the west end of a wash approximately two miles north of mile marker 13 on North Shore Road. Wow. And then we 
have this one in Maricopa, Arizona. I see a lot of them in Arizona area all the time when I go looking for Jane Does and John Does, and I usually don't even bother to include them because there's so many of them. This one was found October 28, 1989, and it says white Caucasian female, 18 to 45, estimated 5 foot 4, estimated 130 pounds. The woman was find in, found in a dry canal near El Mirage Road and Cactus Road. Brown hair, light brown hair up to 8 inches long. And then we have this one from Las Vegas, Nevada, 35 to 60 years old, found in 1995. It doesn't give an estimated PMI, and it says estimated date of death, 0 to 1995. 5 foot tall to 5 foot 8, cannot estimate weight, 35 to 60 years old. Um, two men on dirt bikes in the area north of Range Road and east of the remains of the descendant. It was estimated that she died one to two years prior, so that's not going to be her. So, anyway, if you have any information, please contact authorities with any information that you have that you could give. Um, even if you gave them the information years ago, here's the sheriff's office phone number, and you might can find an email online. Um, maybe you gave them the information years ago, but maybe they don't have it anymore, you know, so you should check and see, and if you know who any of these people might be, you should also contact them, or if you have any information about cases that they have that have been open for years and years, I would give them that information, whether it's hearsay and you heard it from somebody drinking, or family member or friend or something, or somebody that you knew or a place that you worked or, you know, information that you have that maybe they, you gave them the information years ago or you never gave it to them because you were afraid, you know, whatever the case may be. And please don't forget to pray for our loved ones and her family and please feel free to leave comments and have a great day. Bye-bye.